Well, hi. I've um, been away for a little while, I suppose. I don't know when the last time I properly vlogged was. Was it sometime in the summer? It's now the end of September. For some reason, England's really warm today. It's the 24th of September and it's um, it's pretty warm. I went out in jeans and a, a thick, it's not thick actually, quite a thin jumper. And I was still like, Whoa. I'm very much in the... I say festive spirit, everyone will probably come at me for saying festive spirit, but it's Halloween, it's the autumn season, and it is my favourite season, I love it. I love the tiny little pumpkins that you get everywhere. I think by this point I would have already uploaded my Halloween haul slash decorate with me. Realising that I don't have as much decorative pieces as I thought I did, I'm, I'm really trying to rein myself in and not go crazy because I know this is my favourite season and I get very distracted with things. I'm, I'm my mother's daughter. My mum loves Christmas and she will buy every nutcracker she sees because she loves them. So I think I've got that, but the autumn version? I'm already wearing my autumn ring. It is the cutest thing. It's from Shop Dixie. Uh, I think I got this last year or the year before, but it's got pumpkins and acorns and leaves on it and on the inside it says something. Autumn is calling. I love it so much. So the, the minute I was like, oh, it's autumn, it's September. This was on. This was on my hand, ready to go. I mainly sat stuck in traffic today because apparently there's a petrol shortage in the UK. There isn't, but obviously everyone's panic buying. It's like a toilet roll situation all over again. We have to drive past the petrol station to get into town. And of course it backed up everything else. So we spent an or the good the best part of an hour on a 10 15 minute trip which was frustrating so it meant i couldn't get home and do everything that i wanted i wanted i planned to do a proper vlog today and also do a, a decorate with me type of situation oh before i continue you may have noticed that i'm sitting at a dining table mm, look at this dining table yeah i did just wipe my arm it's finally arrived after four months so we had one arrive and it was just wrong it was not the dining table i ordered they made bespoke and i ordered this lovely oak kind of dark looking oak to match the coffee table didn't need to match completely like perfectly but i wanted it the same tone at least and the one that came was basically mahogany absolutely not the right thing so called them up and they made me a new one but then i had to wait another another eight weeks for this one to be built it is beautiful it is so lovely but obviously the whole situation and it taking such a long time to get here and it being wrong in the first place i feel like i can't recommend them which is such a shame because the actual like, the quality of it is incredible it's like it's solid oak it was quite expensive. Solid oak, and then it's got three pieces that are quite seamlessly joined together, and we've got a bench to match. And then I bought four of these chairs. These are from Next. They're called the Cole dining chairs. I think they're the Cole. They're like a fake leather textured in charcoal, and they're so nice, and they're really comfy. And I bought four of them to go on this side and a bench to go this side because we've got a, a small area. It's quite tight. I'll show you in a second. For the size of this room, we went for a six to eight seater, which I think for family and friends I think a six and eight seater is probably better because the next size down was a four and I was like but that's that's never gonna see anyone like if we have parents and grandparents around it's just not gonna work so we went for the bigger one and I'm really pleased with it otherwise did start talking about Mallorca went on to doing the actual Halloween autumn decorate with me so I'll put that in here we're in Mallorca nice sunny Pretty Mallorca, España. Bit going out for dinner. Uh, it doesn't have to go day other than sit by a pool and read books, and that's all we've done since we've arrived. Really, it has been glorious. This is probably the sunniest it's been all day today, though. A bit rocky today. We've had some storms, which is not ideal, but yeah, it's the same situation over here. Masks everywhere, so we're about to get into a taxi going to Palma, which is the capital of Mallorca. Yeah. Um, so we, yeah, we have to wear masks. Okay. Oh, you're so out of focus. There's nowhere I can go where I feel super awkward, where I don't feel super awkward vlogging out in public. 
I've not done this in quite a number of years now and I feel very strange. It's been years? I guess it's been years. Yeah, it's literally been years since we've been abroad, isn't it? Um, yeah, we, we were double jabbed before we came out. We did um, some paperwork for the Spanish government and then we've got to have a test before we fly home and then once we get home, have another test. That's it? And that's it. And then we oh, just wear masks the, the whole time. Oh, what's that? <laughs> yeah, we've, we've, uh, we've not done much. All I wanted to do was just get away and... Oh yeah, I'm going there. It was just to get away for a few days, sunbathe, read loads of books, and uh, just just chill out. I'm not used to this heat. It's really really hot and muggy. And we're going to go for dinner. We're going to find this Japanese place that we really like um, in Tama. Obviously not Spanish, but it's really good. So yeah, the trip itself was incredible. I had the best 10 days. I just sunbathed and read books. If you can hear kids screaming, they're just playing in the garden. Not my kids, just kids that live down the road. Yeah, I read like four books, five books in a week. I read a lot. That's all I did. I read, I sunbathed, we ate lots of good food. It was just like perfect. We went into Parma a few times because we like Parma and it's really close. Um, just had to wear masks all the time. It was it was pretty much like normal, except the whole plane journey we had to wear masks the whole time. So the only time you didn't have to wear a mask is if you were eating or drinking. Um, and they were very on it. So if you weren't wearing a mask at any point of the journey, they would tell you, which is which is a good thing. Like, I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. Then when we were in Mallorca, we had to wear masks all around the shops and stuff and then we came home and England's lifted the whole mask situation so no one's wearing them anymore so that's a bit like I just found it annoying I'm definitely a pro mask girl but no one's wearing them anymore I kind of England's kind of done with that apparently as long as the cases are going down then I guess it's all good yeah nothing else has changed still working from home a fair amount and I probably will be next week if I can't get any petrol because I won't be able to get to work but then that's fine that's why it's nice to be able to work from home and I've got that um, convenience. Sam doesn't. Sam does not work from home so he he will struggle if he can't get any petrol. Because people aren't just, sorry I'm going to go on a proper rant about this now, people aren't just buying petrol for their car, they're taking tanks with them so that they can fill the tanks and then use them, I don't know what they use them for, but it's just really inconsiderate because you've got services and things that would actually need them and they just don't even think about that. Anyway, hopefully by the time this goes up, that'll all be sorted. I've made the decision that I want to do a book roundup on here. Only like ratings and quick snippets of reviews, hopefully, because I babble a lot, might not work out that way. But anyway, this is book number 43. 43 of the year. I wanted to read 40. I read 20 last year and my aim for this year was 40. So I was coming up to smashing it and I was like, you know what, I'll just I'll bump it to fifty and I'm more than on track to meet fifty. Because hopefully I'll read this before September and then I've got seven books to read for the rest of the year. And I'm averaging maybe like four a month, that's three more months. Oh, all this maths. Who am I? Book number forty three, I've decided to go for this absolute beast monster of a book. I forget it is. It's fantasy. I don't know if it's any good yet. I'm only like 60 pages in. It's just world building at the moment. I have no idea what's really going on, but it's had extremely good reviews. It's high fantasy. So we'll, uh, we'll see. Bloody huge. Yeah, I do think later on in the year I will do a roundup of all of them. I have been doing that on my Instagram, like a, um, like giving them a rating and doing like a quick review because we also do that on Goodreads. It's a nice way of remembering what I've read and what I thought about it at the time because I try not to just do, yes it was a good book, I'll try to go back over things that have actually happened so that I remember. Yeah and I'm, I'm always here for book recommendations. I'm a book talk whore, I love book talk, it's just 
where I've heard about all of the, this is where I've heard about this. So I've heard about so many of the other books that I've read. Yeah, it's just come, it's just turned into a proper passion. And I didn't see that coming through COVID. So, I mean, for me, oh God, I'm getting so deep in this conversation. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm at a therapy. I personally have done very well out of the pandemic. Sam and I bought our first house, which is beautiful. I love it. We're still obviously doing bits and bobs in it, but it's, it's gorgeous. I love it. Midnight's obviously moved in and she's the light of my life. She's looking at me like she doesn't give a shit, but I do. I'm reading so much more and I feel like that's such a, it's a much better use of my time than just watching Netflix on repeat and um, just things that are really not benefiting me in any kind of way because my vocabulary has actually got so much better from reading because I'll come up with these words sometimes and I'm like, where did that come from? So that's cool. And I started my dream job in earlier this year. So for me, it's it's been a it's been a good time. It's been a good time of like reflection and positivity and personal growth. I feel like I need to stop treating this like a little therapy session and just like show you some other things. I'll just show you the dining table. It does currently have stuff on it, like the wreath I was showing in the autumn. I don't know what I'm calling it yet autumn decorate with me probably that uh so that's gonna go on the front door it's gonna look cute and this is just the box that, that came in i need to put him somewhere i'm not quite sure yet and then i went to i might show you these in a minute actually we went out into town and i bought some new autumn bits this is the dining table sorry i can't show it much better but i'll uh, i'll tidy it later so this is the bench it is solid oak it's got these kind of legs that are really cool i think it looks pretty thick so it's got these i can't remember what they're called v legs or x legs or something maybe x that makes sense yeah and then this kind of just slots in when those chairs on there these are the chairs kind of like a charcoaly pleather effect they are super nice they're really soft it's kind of like a it's got like a slight brush to it so it's it's not um like a sticky fabric at all so yeah, big fan of that. And I also got raw edged or live edge. So it means it kind of just follows the grade of the wood. The grade of the wood? Growth of the wood? I'm not sure what you'd call it. But the, the natural shape of the wood. I wanted it to look organic. And I think I have achieved that. I think it's gorgeous. And then obviously all the, all the knots and stuff are all filled with some resin. I wanted a table that was going to be really durable and long lasting and would grow with us. And personally, I think this is... This is it. This is the one, which is why I waited over a year to get it, because I knew I wanted to save and get the right one rather than get one I didn't like and then struggle to sell it and well, we'll just live with that one and then we'll get the one that we really want. And it does, so please excuse, this is the, the dregs of that vlog that I've just, I've just shot. So this is the space that we are working with. Obviously everything is open plan in here. We've just got one big room and we've got to fit everything in it. So. It needed to fit, which is why we did the bench and the chairs, because then at least we can move it around, we can pull it out so it's got a bit more space. And the idea is that if we move house ever in life, which I'm sure we will do, we're probably not going to live here forever, that table will probably, or could potentially be in its own room, it could be in the kitchen diner area, not necessarily next to a sofa the whole time. So for us it just kind of made sense to get a bigger table and fill that space. Samsung. So, like I said, we went into town earlier. I just want to go through what I got because I'm really excited about it. I just got some autumnal things. So I've got a couple of jumpers and a pair of these boots and a jacket, which I ordered online, um, but they had it in the store. So I was like, I'm just going to get it because <laughs> I wanted to try it on there and then and I'll probably take the other one back. I'll, go, I'll take the other one back. My hair's gone kinky because it's I'm so hot. I um, No, I was trying to vlog, wasn't I? So I wanted it to look autumnal and authentic. <laughs> so I'm in the office. I still need to do some bits in here. We've got some more pictures that I want to put behind and I do want to put some shelves up here but I haven't figured out where and what size and whatever. The straighteners and the hairdryer there and the wire. I have got a plant that I'm going to put there. <laughs> Sam just wrote his new jacket and he's excited about it. Um, I have got a plant that I can put in there but I've got a stool on the way so that's going to go there. So the stool's going to go there and the plant will come up and it should hide, hide all the wires especially as it gets uh, especially as it grows bigger, I think it will look really nice. Anyway, 
This is one of the jumpers by Grand h and I love it, it is so soft. I think it was £19, but it's just so cute. And I like that detail on the arm, where it kind of like, the knit goes up, and then there's a straight line down. I just think it's cool. And it's really, really nice and soft, and it's got a little roll neck, which I love. Um, yeah, big fan. So an extra small, which is still kind of baggy, but I'm into it. And then we have the jacket, which I love. I love the colour of it. I love the fit. It's got some pockets here. Uh, only issue I have with it is that it has no pockets. So there's just like, there's nothing here. There should be a pocket. Because I'm not going to walk around like this. I mean, I will. I will walk around like this. But it just looks a bit stupid. I love it though. And I think with, with the jumper and the jeans, I just think it looks cool. It will look nice for autumn, it will look nice for winter. Just a big fan. I love the jacket. Look, um, I'm glad these are coming back in because I've got a fair few and I love them. But I don't have this colour and it's a really soft, I guess it's kind of felty. Uh, and this I think was 20 quid as well, 25 pound. And then I bought these boots in Primark. They're kind of like a tan colour. And then they're only ankle boots. Oh, how do I show this? They're only ankle boots. They're tight here. They've got a zip on the inside. And yeah, they're just super comfy. This is why I've got this stupid thing in the middle. But I just thought, as an outfit, digging this, loving this. I think they're just super good. They'll look nice with dresses. They'll look nice with jeans in the winter or autumn. These were 16 pound. Big, big fan. Big, big fan. Super cool. And this is the final jumper, I just have a little pull in it, but I think it might just be where the knit ends. I think I'll just need to tuck it under, tuck it in. But it's a really nice, kind of like khaki slash sagey colour. I love it. I don't love how high necked it is. I feel like a Tudor. You sit like with the ruffles? That's what I feel like. So I think once I like pull it out a bit more, it won't quite, won't be quite so bad. Uh, yeah, but... It's basically the same fit, it's not quite as soft as the other one. 20 quid again, but big, big fan. Love knitwear, will wear knitwear all the time. Uh, I think that's it for my little clothing roundup. I've not bought new clothes in a long time and I am a sucker for knitwear. I love, love knitwear. I'm always cold, except for today. I'm actually boiling, so I'm gonna get this off really soon. Um, but yeah, I, I think H&M is probably the best for jumpers. I've got so many jumpers from H&M. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that sentence. Going back to the little gallery wall in the office, I do have some more. So I've got an A3, A1? A1 print that I'm probably gonna put here. And then I've got another couple that I'm gonna put here. And I need to buy a couple from Etsy that I've seen. Um, one that says Be More Cat and it's got a black cat outline. And it's I've seen it everywhere for years and I love it. And another one I want is, is a Mickey Mouse original sketch. Again, from Etsy, there's a print of it. And that'll probably go back here. So I'll have those two here, the big A3 print. And I need to put this somewhere as well. Because this has got those pink and like ready tones that are in this print that I have. So I need to, pink and ready tones that are in this print that I have. So I wanted to try and draw in from those colors a bit more, but I haven't found anything else that's that scheme. So I'll, um, I'll keep looking. Cause it'd be nice to put something else other than just black and white. I'm honestly boiling after trying all that stuff on. I'm so warm. Good morning. Is it still morning? Yeah, it is. It's Sunday. Sam and I have been cleaning all morning, which has been really productive. Like we've cleaned the bathroom, we've cleaned the kitchen. It's just we've hoovered everywhere. It's been a proper spring cleaning, autumn cleaning day. Yeah, I realised I didn't really end the vlog yesterday. I just kind of stopped. So I thought I'd try and do a little bit today go through a, a regular Sunday, although it's not really a regular Sunday. We're supposed to be going to a couple of eventy things today, not events. Um, this 1940s thing with my grandparents and then I'm supposed to be seeing my friend in the evening. But because of this stupid UK petrol shortage, I'm trying to work out how much petrol can get me to these places without making me completely empty. I will try and find a petrol garage that's got some petrol, but it's looking very unlikely. Because I know that like everyone has run out of petrol. It's an actual nightmare. <laughs> She's the chattiest cat in the world. Aren't you, babes? Talk. Speak. No. 
<laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, so I gave this a little rejig yesterday because I decided I didn't like the stuff being in the middle because you couldn't see the garland. So I've put... Um, oh, I also spray painted this last night. Uh, this was silver yesterday and I only have black spray paint so... Yes, Han. What? <laughs> so I went with black spray paint because it, it just matches everything and I put a little witchy cat there and then I've just moved this over here with a couple of pumpkins and I just think that looks a bit better, it's a bit neater and you can actually see the garland and appreciate the garland in all its pretty felt beauty. Just wanted something quick to jump in the shower with but these kind of plaits are like my go-to at the moment, just gets, gets everything off of my face. So yeah, cleaning on morning, we have a nice clean kitchen, stacks of washing up which is just standard and last night I made a banana bread, et voila. I we had a couple of bananas that were on the turn and I didn't really have all of the right ingredients. I have one of those scales that is a flat one that needs a flat battery, but we haven't bought a replacement for it. So I had to judge everything by cup. So like one cup of this, one third of a cup of this, and it didn't, it wasn't obviously as accurate as it should have been. So it's ended up really flat. It's like, the least risen cake in the world. It tastes perfect. I do, yeah, I don't even know what, why it's not risen. Because I used to have raisin flour, I used bicarb. But it's just not, it's not worked that well. I also fill it full of walnuts. Because I think it's nice to have a little bit of a crunch in there. But I did, <laughs> I did this in between watching Harry Potter. We started on a marathon. Marathon? Marathon? Yeah, this is my little banana bread. It doesn't look that good, but it's really good, I promise. <laughs> like a basketball. <laughs> nah, she just she does not care. Well, I think she's going to care in a minute. It's because it's you doing it. Sam and I are getting ready to go to my friend's house for a little pizza party. It's going to be really fun. Uh, so I'm just wearing a standard Mickey biker t-shirt. This is one of my favourite t-shirts ever because it's got Mickey on the back in like some Harley style badass thing which is not Mickey Mouse at all but I love it. And I got this in Primark the other day. It's like another little ribbony, satiny, green khaki thing. I like running these in my hair because they're just easy to chuck on and it's just a bit extra. Makes me look like a five year old but like in a cool way. And I'm going to probably take this to chuck on over the top. I got yesterday because it's gonna be outside she's got a fire pit and stuff like that so we're gonna be chilly yeah so this will just be easy to chuck on and I might actually take a jacket as well I don't think I'll <coughs> bless you I don't think I'll take that one today but I've got a similar one from Zara actually shoe cupboards time to shine this one that I you know when you when people say you should shop your wardrobe I decided I needed to do that and this is a purchase from Zara last year and it's uh it's definitely oversized it's a small one I should have got an extra small this is it on so it's kind of kind of oversized and it does have pockets which is always great actually I might wear this I might change that if it doesn't really match it's not the right green but cozy autumnal yeah I think this is the one actually that's a good idea autumnal background playing we were watching Prisoner of Azkaban earlier because we watched Philosopher's Stone 
and Chamber of Secrets partially yesterday and we finished it today, this afternoon. I finished Chamber of Secrets. We've still got the other four films? Are there seven Harry Potter films? Uh, eight. Seven books. Seven books, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so eight, eight Harry Potter films, we've only watched two and a half. Um, you want to do that before we finish the marathon? Yeah. That's not going to happen. Yeah. Hmm. Honestly, not much else to update on. I've gone through the whole autumnal decorations. Shown dining table. Cat likes it because it's a nice new little den for her. Isn't it, pumpkin? Yeah. On that note, I'll probably end it here. I did want to try and I did want to try and sort out the back wall today, but like I said, we were watching Harry Potter. I fell asleep, a little nap. I've seen it a thousand times before anyway, I quite quite the whole thing. So I don't feel that bad for missing it. We at least managed to clean like the entire house today, so there's that. And and now I'm gonna go and sit in a queue for a petrol station for probably like two hours, so thanks UK.